Today on Capitol Hill, the House will try again to elect a new Speaker of the House, uh, two weeks since uh, Republicans ousted Kevin McCarthy from the job. Congressman Jim Jordan making some progress toward winning the speakership later today after flipping some of the holdouts in caucus. However, at least six Republicans are still voting no on Jordan, and he can only lose four of those votes. Tom Dempsey has the latest from Capitol Hill. Tom? Good morning, Barky. Yeah, Congressman Jim Jordan could literally be working up until the minute before this expected vote at noon Eastern time here on Capitol Hill. And that's because this morning it still remains a big question over whether or not he can get to that magic number of 217 votes needed to be the next House Speaker. Uh, Congressman Jordan, of course, has been uh, reaching out to colleagues, uh, making phone calls and holding meetings uh, behind closed doors, all in an effort to try and gain support. And that effort has paid off on flipping at least four open opponents. You can see them listed here. Representative Ken Calvert, a Republican from California, posting the social media quote after having a conversation with Jim Jordan about how we must get the House back on a path to achieve our national security and appropriations goals. I will be supporting him for speaker on the floor. Let's get to work. Jordan, though, still has some work to do getting support. As you said, he can only lose four Republican votes if he wants to be speaker. Congressman Carlos Jimenez from Florida could be one of them. He spoke with News Nation about his support for former Speaker Kevin McCarthy and the impact of forcing him out and going with Jordan instead. Take a listen. If this is successful, then look for something else to happen here, you know, before the end of this of the, of the session or at the end of this Congress or in future Congresses. Hey, if you do this, this is what you get. Yeah. So, yeah, no, you uh, you don't reward bad behavior. And adding on to the pressure to find a new House speaker is this, uh, you know, push to get aid to Israel as it wages war against Hamas, and as the uh, United States government faces a possible shutdown about a month from now, Congress needs to find agreement on a spending plan uh, before then. Again, we expect that vote to happen around noon Eastern time today here on Capitol Hill, guys. Okay, we'll see how that plays out. We know the political climb has been steep for Jordan for sure, and it, this all kind of feels like Groundhog Day once again. Tom Dempsey, thanks so much. We'll, uh, we'll stay tuned. It, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.